Hello, welcome back. Welcome to my kitchen. Come in, sit down, and let me cook for you. I'm Tom, the Sunday Dinner Chef. Let's get started. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. I am Tom, the Sunday Dinner Chef. Well, we're still going to have uh, forgotten foods. We're going to go back to a cocktail party from, uh, let's see, 1957, 1960s, up into the 70s. We're going to be doing a shrimp cocktail and also pigs in a blanket. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to explain how and when they started. But it evolved from cocktail parties at home into going to restaurants for brunch and uh, how things changed. Almost everything was in play rather than just certain foods that we were accustomed to having. Uh, last week we did a uh, fondue. So, all right, let's get going. All right, this was a lot of fun to do, uh, but, but the little tricks that we used to do in the restaurant here. Whenever you're using a, a pan like this, uh, I would wet it down a little bit, uh, put a damp cloth on it, and then put the parchment paper on it. It'll stick, and then you can form it into the pan any way you want with it. Uh, this is going to be fun because uh, I haven't done it in a long time, and there again, it's a forgotten food. So, we're going to be uh, making uh, pigs in a blanket. So, I bought some little, um, little Smokies, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to rinse them off because... Uh, I, I'm just, I, it's a habit I have. So I'm going to rinse these things off. And then I bought some uh, crescent rolls, uh, the dough. You know, like the, you bang them on the side, it opens up a little bit. Uh, so there's eight rolls into this package. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking them and cutting them, uh, each piece. And I will use that whole roll here just about to do all of these uh, little smokies in the pan. So, as you can see, I opened it up a little bit here. And I'm just going to show you this little trick. Uh, you don't have to use the whole thing. Uh, but I did. Um, I bought two of them. So I know uh, we'll have be having crescent rolls throughout the week. <laughs> All right. Very, pretty simple. Uh, open them up. Uh, I'll take a dough, uh, dough scraper. And I will cut them into strips. And I'll roll up these little smokies. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, getting back to the origin of Pigs in a Blanket, it goes back a long time. Um, there was different ways. Pigs in a Blanket was actually known uh, back in the 1800s, late 1800s, as oysters wrapped in bacon. Um, and then there was uh, a couple other things that they come up with. But the first original writing of it was uh, actually 1957, our good friend Betty Crocker. She had a cookbook out, and it was for Boys and Girls Cookbook. And that's when it was first mentioned about pigs in a blanket. It was back in 1957. Hell, I was three years old. <laughs> but uh, ever since, it was in play until um, uh, now. I guess you can still get them. But it was very, very popular at cocktail parties back in the early 60s. You know, 60s into the 70s. I would say almost into the 80s until... The world of brunch came about, and that sort of did away with the uh, Saturday afternoon or evening cocktail parties at somebody's house. Pretty cool. You know, you don't, you don't know until you get into, start doing some research into this, of uh, where it all came from. So, that's how it's working out right there, and we're going to get this thing done. They're going to go into the oven at 350 until they're golden brown. Um, I'm pretty bad when it comes to timing and stuff like that. Uh, I know when it's done, but uh, so there you are right there. Just cut all them out. And uh, that did almost all them smoky. So it says it's for eight crescent rolls. Okay. But I did, uh, I think I had maybe uh, 10 of uh, little uh, smokies left. Now, back in the day, we used to make trays and trays and trays of these, okay, for uh, cocktail parties that we would have at our restaurant. Uh, but that seemed to go by the wayside. Now you can buy them. I mean, they're fairly cheap. Just again, we're already done. But this is the way we used to do it back in the day. Brings back a lot of ugly memories. <laughs> but uh, just rolling dough. That's all I was doing. I wasn't making any dough. I was rolling it. Anyway, that's that's exactly how we would do it. And um, back in the day, though, they were a little bit bigger. Uh, matter of fact, we would take some hot dogs sometimes and roll them up and then cut them. We'll do it all different ways, but these seems to be uh, pretty uniform and it worked out pretty good. Yeah. So, like I said, 350 into the oven until they're golden brown, take them out. 
Now I will be making a uh, mustard sauce with mixing mustard with some, um, actually it's hot mustard with some mayonnaise in it for dipping. Okay, now getting into um, shrimp cocktail. Now this shrimp cocktail came into play back in, actually back in 1959, right out here in my home, home state of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, it was at the Golden Gate Casino. Uh, the, the guy who, who brought it here, can, his name slips me right now, but uh, this was a big, big to-do. Um, there was, <laughs> from I guess it was from 1960, 59, 60, up until the 80s, again, until uh, you know the buffets and stuff like that started coming out. But in this right here, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to boil the shrimp. Now, you can either steam them or boil them. But you must season the water. If not, it's going to taste very bland. It's going to be just blah. So there again, Old Spice, dill weed. I put some Tommy Spice in there, a little bit of black pepper. Uh, and you want to put them in the water and then bring it to a boil and shut it off. All right, just let them sit in there. And then what I'll do is I'll run cold water into that pot to cool them off. Take them out and you'll see how, how nice, uh, nice, nice and plump they are. Put in a little oregano. You can put anything you want in here. You can set it up the way you want. But Old Bay is a must to get that good seafood flavor out of it. Uh, a little bit of black pepper. And uh, it's, um, there again, uh, nobody makes it. You see it every once in a while on uh, a menu when you go out to dinner or they'll have it at a buffet or something, but it's not the same. It has never been the same. Uh, they really, it was a real big to-do for, they even made bowls for it. I mean, even in the restaurant business. Uh, I, I would have these bowls that you would put ice in it and, uh, you know, set the, set the uh, shrimp up on there and the whole bit. Now, <clears throat> normally you would use horseradish, uh, some ketchup, and some other seasoning. Um, you know, lately, the last couple times I got horseradish, it was way too hot. Uh, and not too many people liked it when I would make it here. So what I did was I added a little ketchup, a little hot sauce to it. And I'll add some Old Bay. And back in the day, they would put it in into a cocktail glass. That's how it's got its name, Shrimp Cocktail. Uh, they would get a glass from the bar, either like a martini glass, whatever. And they would set the shrimp inside, either put a little bit of lettuce in there with the cocktail sauce on top. This is why I like to do it. Uh, I like green onion. Green onion has a great flavor to it. Also put a little Tommy Spice in there, mix it up, and pour it into the glass, and voila, there it is. Uh, there again, like I said, Old Bay is a must. Right? So when you, make, when you cook it, you just want to get it to the point where it comes to the boil, shut it off real quick, and temper it. Put water in it, or you can drop it in ice. But don't dump the water out because that's where all the seasoning is. And you want that to set into it. And what a difference. Uh, I'll, I'll make a bet with you. Do one shrimp in just plain water and then do it, do it the way I just did it here. And you'll, you'll see the difference in the taste. So there again, it's not to blow anybody's hat off, you know, with it too hot, but it's, it has a nice flavor to it. It really does. All right, now I'm going to put it into a little cocktail glass here. And uh, these shrimp that I'm using are U15s, and they're pretty good size shrimp. Uh, and what I do is when I put them into the water, as you've seen before, I, I like to open up the backs a little bit more. Uh, this way they pretty much cook all the same. And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna get ready to sit down and uh, have a cocktail party from 1960. All right, once you get this sauce mixed up, uh, into the refrigerator it goes. Stay nice and cool. That's where the shrimp are right now, cooling off. And we're going to put this together right now. Well, this was a lot of fun. I mean, as you can see right there, I mean, that, that is really, really tasty looking. Eat with your eyes. Uh, can't go wrong. I mean, shrimp cocktail. I don't know why it fell from grace. Really don't. Uh, great flavor. Brings me back in time. Unbelievable. Now, look at these tiny little morsels right here. Pigs in a blanket. Homemade. Okay, well, I didn't make the dough, but you can. But it's a lot of work. It's cheaper to do it this way. Uh, and you know what? You have a lot of fun. 
Listen, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I am Tom, the Sunday Dinner Chef uh, with another Forgotten Foods from the 60s and 70s. If you would, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I really do appreciate it. See you next week with another Forgotten Foods from back in the day. <laughs>